I come to the floor because I'm greatly concerned as to whether the Department of Justice is committed to fighting the violent crime committed by the gang known as MS-13. MS-13 is a violent gang that operates on the streets of the United States and throughout Mexico and Central America. MS-13's informal model is, can you believe this, kill, Steve, kill, steal, rape, and control. Under the Trump administration, the department established a task force to fight the murders and other serious crimes committed by MS-13 gang members. But the Department of Justice hasn't released any news or updates on this task force called Task Force Vulcan since way back January 14th this year, right before President Biden's inauguration is when that January 14th date was. So you can see we haven't seen anything since this president's been sworn in. So we have no idea what the Department of Justice is doing to combat MS-13. From 2017 to 2020, U.S. Customs and Border Protection found or arrested over 3 million people, averaging about 750,000 people a year. In that same time period, Border Patrol apprehended an average of 294 MS-13 gang members every year. This year, however, Customs Border Patrol has already encountered or arrested over one and two-tenths million, well above the previous averages. But this year, Customs Border Patrol has only apprehended 61 MS-13 members trying to enter the United States, suggesting many dangerous MSC-13 uh, gang members are successfully sneaking past Border Patrol as agents are focused on stealing with, uh, dealing with unaccompanied children at the border or asylum seekers. One Border Patrol chief in Laredo stated that MS-13 members are using the high number of migrants entering the U.S. to blend in and get past agents. We know MS-13 is still trying to sneak into the country. However, they're just more successful now. Customs Border Patrol is still arresting MS-13 MS members when they can identify them. In April alone, the Custom Border Patrol arrested an MS-13 member who was a convicted felon with an outstanding warrant, and one female MS-13 member traveling with a convicted murderer. Here next to the Capitol, police in Maryland arrested an MS-13 member after he lured a 15-year-old girl into an apartment and tried to rape her. So even if Border Patrol agents in the field and local police are doing their best to stop MS-13, we still don't know what the Department of Justice is doing about MS-13 since they haven't released any updates on the task force Vulcan since January. We don't even know if task force Vulcan still exists. This is a problem because we know MS-13 is ruthlessly operating on American streets. And Congress and the American people deserve to know what the deal the Department of Justice is doing to keep our streets safe and to keep us safe from dangerous criminal organizations like MS-13. So I will be seeking answers to this question 
from the Department of Justice. It's a pretty basic question. Do you have anything to update the American people about? We should know what the status of all this is.